the world's most extreme weather events, all captured on film. Today, we're partnering with Lisette Studios to bring you the top 15 most extreme weather events ever seen. Number 15, ship sailing into hurricane. With no land nearby to help channel or block strong winds, the open ocean can be some of the most dangerous places to be during a storm. As well as the weather, the water's surface can be whipped up into powerful waves, leaving boats with little choice but to try to navigate their way through them. Sometimes even that's not possible, and the crew simply have to hold on for dear life. This video was recorded on the bridge of an emergency response and rescue vehicle, while it was on its way to help a stricken ship in the North Sea in December of 2011. Between it and its targets, Cyclone Freighthelm, which is also known as Hurricane Bawbag, was pummeling everything in its path, with winds that measured from Storm Force 12 on the Beaufort scale, and the ship got caught right in the middle of it. What would you have done if you faced this? Number 14, Lisbon Airport Crosswinds. Air travel is undoubtedly the most convenient, comfortable, and quickest way to journey across long distances, and it's now so established that it's far safer than any other mode of transport. But with the entire vehicle taking off from the ground and moving through the air, planes are subject to the full brunt of any weather systems that lay in their path. Normally, while at cruising altitude, it's possible to fly over any storms that are developing. But when it comes to the time to land, there's no choice but to fly into it. Ideally, pilots would be able to take their time to make their final approach, but with limited fuel and a schedule to keep to, they often find themselves in a position where they're trying to land a plane with extremely strong crosswinds blowing over the runway. This video was recorded in 2006 as an Airbus A321-200 was trying to land at Lisbon Airport in Portugal. And as you'll see, things got very scary for everyone on board. After rocking side to side so violently with the wings almost touching the tarmac before the landing gears, the pilot was forced to abort his landing on this attempt and circle around to try again. Number 13, Chemical Tanker in High Seas. Even though there are various options of how to transport goods around the world, if you're moving sufficient quantities, the most economical solution is still to use a boat. This is particularly true if you're dealing with hazardous materials, because things are far more manageable on a ship than a plane, for example. But this does mean that the crew faces heightened dangers whenever they come across a storm at sea. Here, the LPG C Venere, which is a chemical tanker, is sailing around the coast of Portugal when it encountered a weather system that would become a hurricane. With waves reaching in excess of 30 feet, all the crew could do was steer the ship in the direction of the swells and hope for the best. Amazingly, they managed to reach their destination on time without suffering any damage or losing their cargo. But had they been less experienced, things could have easily ended in disaster. Number 12, Glacier Tsunami. The cold temperatures around the North and South Poles have meant that over millions of years, huge volumes of water have been trapped as ice. But due to natural processes, as well as global warming, these ice sheets and glaciers are breaking apart more often than ever, and the results are almost unbelievable. The Aleutiat Glacier, for example, is on the edge of a fjord in Greenland, and icebergs will often calve off it that are up to 3,000 feet high. They are far too big to float away in the relatively shallow fjord and will often remain lodged in the shallow water areas for months or even years before they break up and float away. But it's the initial event that sees them separate from the main glacier that's the most impressive. Sometimes they fall into the water with such power that they trigger tsunamis that can be up to 16 feet tall. 
and you would better hope you're not in the nearby area when this happens, because it's guaranteed to destroy everything in its path. Number 11. Baltic Sea Thunderstorm The Baltic Sea is connected to the Atlantic Ocean and is the body of water that stretches into Europe between Norway, Finland, and Sweden to the north, and Germany, Denmark, and Poland to the south. Because of the countries that surround it, which also include Russia, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, as well as its access to the Atlantic and therefore the rest of the world, it's a vitally important trade route and one that's been navigated by ships for centuries. Due to its northerly position, however, it's also a region that's prone to severe thunderstorms that have resulted in the loss of countless ships and lives over the years. Weather systems can help develop with hardly any warning whatsoever, and even though modern ship designs are far more resilient, it can still be a frightening experience for everyone involved. This footage was recorded from the Regina Seaways Ferry in 2019, en route from the Lithuanian port of Klaipeda to Kiel in Germany, and as you'll see, they were in for a bumpy ride. Storm Imogen. In early February 2016, the British Weather Service, the MET office, issued warnings across the country of an impending storm that was days away from making landfall. Designated as Storm Imogen, there were risks of wind speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. And while that pales in comparison to the destructive force of hurricanes, it's far more than the UK is used to and had the potential to cause extreme damage. As the storm was approaching from a southwesterly direction from across the Atlantic, the first area of the country to be hit was Cornwall, where houses have historically been built along the seafront to take advantage of what are usually spectacular views across the coast. Things became very different for the residents over the next few days, however, as the storm lashed powerful waves against the coast and caused an estimated million dollars worth of damage. Number 9. Storm Fishing The world's oceans are incredibly unpredictable. While one moment the surface can be calm and peaceful, a storm can suddenly move in without any warning, and you can soon find yourself facing deadly conditions. For fishermen, this is a hazard of the job, because the best fish stocks are generally where the water is deepest, far away from land, and where they're both more susceptible to quick changes in weather, as well as being much further away from other ships that may be able to launch a rescue if they find themselves in difficulty. You can only really know how this feels if you're on board one of these boats yourself when a storm strikes, but videos can still do a good job of showing you how harsh the conditions can become. This fishing trawler, the Santa Mar, was working in the Atlantic Ocean in December of 2010, and the waves start throwing it from side to side. 
Luckily, on this occasion, another ship, the Grampian Avenger, was nearby and on standby to lend assistance if it was needed. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Airport Rainfall It can be a miserable experience being on a plane during a torrential rainstorm, but you'd normally expect to be safe from weather if you're either in the airport terminal before boarding your flight or have managed to disembark just in time. Things didn't go exactly as expected at Lutron Airport in the UK in 2019, when the storm outside became so powerful that it began to leak through the structure and rain onto those who were sheltering inside. The storm had caused havoc with flight schedules, with most being canceled until the next day, and this meant that there were more people in the terminal than there normally would have been. They found themselves scrambling to find a safe spot, but with puddles forming around them and parts of the ceiling collapsing, many found there to be nowhere to go and simply had to endure it. Number 7. Merchant Ship in Storm Currently, around 90% of all goods that are transported around the world are carried by ship, and there are more than 53,000 container ships that are in operation. With tight schedules to adhere to, they can't let tricky weather conditions slow them down, and they often have to navigate the worst that Mother Nature can throw at them. The Bay of Biscay, which sits between France and Spain, is an oceanic inlet that ships often sail through to stay clear of the open ocean but it's notorious for its severe weather, which at times can resemble a hurricane. In 2009, a 12,000 ton merchant ship found itself bearing the brunt of one of these formations. And while you'd normally expect a vessel of this size to seamlessly power through the waves, there was very little it could do against the huge swells that formed in the Gale Force 10 storm, and it was forced to take them head on. Six Winds on Mount Elbrus Mountain climbing is a popular pursuit for those looking for a physical and mental challenge, and there's a wide variety of peaks to climb around the world for people of all abilities. Of course, the most famous is the ascent up Mount Everest, where climbers have to contend with unpredictable weather, hidden caverns, and extremely thin air. But in recent years, it's been made much easier thanks to the assistance of local guides and new technologies. Those looking for a real challenge are now looking elsewhere, and one of the most challenging is the 18,510-foot-tall Mount Elbrus in Russia. It's a dormant volcano that's the highest mountain in Europe and was first successfully climbed in 1829. While there are a couple of climbing routes that are regarded as easy and safe, especially as there's a cable car and stair lift that can take you part of the way, experienced mountaineers may choose to take one of the more complicated ascents, and it's along these routes that they can encounter extreme winds that blow in across the mountains with just a few minutes warning. With mist and snow caught up in the wind, the only option is to brace yourself and stay in position until it passes, which could be a matter of minutes or several hours. Number 5. Passenger Ferry in Rough Seas Due to its position at the bottom of the world, New Zealand experiences some of the hardest weather conditions of any country especially in the surrounding oceans. This causes particular problems because the economy relies so much on ships to transport cargo and people, and it's not uncommon for these vessels to get caught in extreme storms. In 2014, the Inter-Islander Ferry, DEV Araterre, had left the city of Wellington in late September, and soon found itself caught in winds that were blowing at up to speeds of 65 miles per hour, which caused waves as much as 20 feet high. The captain forged on, knowing it was the only way he would have ever reached his destination. You can only imagine what this would have been like for all the passengers on board.
Number four, insane cloud formation. Clouds form when enough precipitation in the air can condense into droplets of water because of the temperature differentials, and it will usually swirl and meander in line with the prevailing air currents. But this can often happen at such slow speeds that their true majesty can only be seen in time-lapse videos. This footage was recorded as a storm began to form above a hotel on a beach, and you can see the cyclical motion that it takes, similar to how a hurricane behaves. It almost looks unreal, and at first, when it was shared, there were those that were convinced that it was a computer effect. But formations like this are actually more common than people realize. They're just rarely caught on camera like this. Number three, the Sichem Padua. The Sichem Padua, which is also known as True Colors, is a 9,215-ton oil tanker that first set sail in 1993. It's usually responsible for transporting crude from the Gulf around the world, and as such has faced some of the most challenging sea conditions of all. While it's still very much in operation, things could have well been very different after an incident in 2011, where it almost capsized due to a storm that developed over it in the Pacific Ocean. Footage taken from the bridge shows huge waves battering it from both sides, and at one point it tilted by more than 40 degrees. It's not an experience many people would enjoy, and the images from inside the ship after the storm had passed shows just how vicious the conditions that the crew were subjected to actually were. Number two, glacier collapse. Patagonia is the southernmost region of South America and is land that's shared between Argentina and Chile. It's sparsely populated and is one of the most stunning places on Earth, but at such a southerly position, it's also extremely cold around the coast and covered in ice. The glacier Perito Marino is one of the most beautiful natural wonders in Argentina and attracts tourists from all over the world who want the chance to see it for themselves. Often guides will take people out on dinghies to get close to the ice, but when you see this next video, you'll realize this isn't necessarily the safest of excursions. And at certain times of the year, large chunks of ice fall from the glacier into the canal below and trigger huge waves that cover everything in their path, including any boats that may be there at the time. Fortunately, on this occasion, everyone was well clear before the collapse. Number one, Southern Ocean Storm. With virtually no land masses surrounding it, the Southern Ocean is notorious for being the most dangerous mass of water on the planet. The freezing winds that blow over it from Antarctica trigger violent storms that can result in waves of up to 80 feet, which would dwarf most buildings, let alone ships. Anyone planning to sail in these waters has to be well prepared, and it's a miracle that whalers and explorers more than a century ago managed to cross these treacherous waters. Modern-day vessels are much better equipped to deal with conditions like this, but it doesn't mean it's a comfortable ride for those on board. This footage was recorded from the bridge of a New Zealand warship, the HMNZS Otago, and as you can see from the way it handles the 50-mile-an-hour winds and 65-foot waves, this is not a place for the faint-hearted. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.